Most libraries nowadays might be using a computer system to catalogue their books, but Salisbury Cathedral Library hasn't had the chance to catch up with moving their system online until now. Thanks to Heritage Lottery funding, the team here can now start storing electronic information on their some 10,000 books. So the project is called Beyond the Library Door, Sharing Books and Bindings. And it's a three-year project and it's all about getting our library catalogue, so the information we have about the books, online in a database so that other people can see what we've got and so that we can also um, enter new information and have a better knowledge of the collection ourselves and so we can look after it better. The project is set to span three years where they're hoping to catalogue at least 7,000 of the rare books in their collection. This will include the printed word dating back from 1480 up until the Victorian period and covers topics from mathematics to cider making. What we want to record is information about the bindings of each book, um, who used to own the books. There's some quite interesting book plates and inscriptions in the books from people that used to own it. So we want to record that information. And we also want to record the condition of the book. So in the future, we can do a repair. We know what books need repair and which books need help. Using part of the £73,500 from their heritage fund, Anne has now joined the team, who will be behind the cataloguing. I've taken this particular book at random from one of the shelves. I took it actually from a shelf which is labelled N. It's on the third shelf and it's the 17th book from, from the left. So that's, that's its address, you might say, or what we call in library terms its shelf mark. But actually the book itself tells us that it didn't always live there. It used to live on a shelf called E and it was the 41st book uh, from the left on the shelf. Uh, the fact that the, the shelf mark and, as you can see here, the title of the book is written on the forage tells us that actually the book used to be shelved with the spine innermost and the text block outermost. The binding itself is, is rather lovely. Uh, it's brown calf. It's got beautiful blind stamping on it in, a, in a, making a central, a central design. It's got heraldic beasts um, done into the stamping. It used to have clasps. You can see the remains of them here. So actually, we're very interested in the book as an object uh, and its history as part of the, of the cathedral library. Once cataloguing has begun, volunteers will then start the process of cleaning the books. The project aims to not only benefit the library, but also the wider public. This is one of the reasons why the project is so important, because at the moment nobody would know what we had in the library unless you happen to have a copy of this catalogue printed in 1880 on your bookshelf, which is not really very realistic, for, even for many um, scholars and academics wouldn't have a copy of that catalogue. So people don't know what we've got, so they don't know if there's anything here that might have interested for them. So by having the catalogue online, then we're hoping to attract more people to come and look at the books. Come next year, the library hopes to hold talks for visitors about their collection. Cara Digby, that's TV.